This is Good Morning San Diego. Organizations helping to bring music to the classroom. We're going to learn more about guitars and ukuleles in the classroom and training program that's being offered to educators right now. Look how cute they look. I love this video. <laughs> We're going to have that story coming up after the break. Right now, we are talking about a local nonprofit that is helping bring music to the classroom and has been helping bring music to the classroom for almost 25 years now. So here to tell us about the organization and the training program is their founder and executive director of Guitars and Ukes. You did it. <laughs> In the classroom, Jess Barron, because it's ukulele, right? Isn't that the proper? Yeah, that's right. But you, you say guitars and ukes? We do. Ukes, ukes. We do. Okay. Yeah. Tell us, Jess, how you started this almost 25 years ago. True. 25 years goes by very quickly when you're making music and doing this with teachers and children. Uh, I started this in response when I was a music teacher to the classroom teachers who came to me and said, we wish the kids loved learning math as much as they love being in your music room. Aww. And I said, well, okay, let's figure this out. And the more teachers I talked to, the more said, I never got music lessons. We didn't have money, you know, when I was a kid or, you know, my brother was the musician and so I became the sports person. So I just said, okay, well, A, we have to make it free because teachers never make enough money. Yeah. And B, if we make the instruments available, then that's not a barrier either. So we have scholarship instruments, and anybody that trains with us can just be serving in any job in education. Wow, anything, okay. anything. Food service workers, bus drivers, front office, the nurse, librarian, counselor, all the whole community is welcome. To and learn to make music with us. And, and then fall it. registration is, is here, right? It's here. We're open. We're, we have, I think, 17 free classes that are open for enrollment virtually, and we're going back in person. So all the in-person training is rolling out, and it's rolling out um, also in Los Angeles, and we're looking to spread nationally this year. But San Diego is our home, and we have over a thousand teachers engaged in the school district in making music in 118 schools just fantastic. in San Diego Unified. You must feel really good falling asleep at night about the work that you do because it can just give I don't, an outlet for kids if nothing else and it, it's just wonderful to bring it to the classroom. So what age groups do you target? And, and how do you make this, you know, fun versus frustrating for, for those little hands that are yeah. trying to start to learn an instrument? So, Lauren, the fun thing is we call this from diapers to diplomas <laughs> because we've been training the early childhood teachers and daycare workers countywide uh, over the last year to work with music with the babies. Aww. But we also go all the way up through high school. We have after school free high school guitar clubs for the teens and we're doing that in several high schools here in San Diego um, and then in the middle of all of that are our elementary and middle school kids and in the elementaries the teachers come they take our free training they love it they learn to play and sing and write their own songs and they write the songs for teaching English language arts math science history wow. and social emotional learning which is critical right now for our kids, right? Because they had those years where they didn't get social learning because they were at home. Yeah, They're making up for lost time. So the teachers can learn all of that, no, no charge, and meet other like-minded teachers that want to bring more music to learning. That's fantastic. Who do you typically hear from? Like what, what sorts of teachers? Is oh it teachers gosh. that have a musical background no. already or typically don't? Don't. <laughs> okay. They don't. Seventy-three percent have never picked up an instrument in their lives. Fantastic. And then they take it back to their classrooms and incorporate the music within their, their lesson. That's right. They might use it to walk the kids into the room in the morning or to wrap things up at the end of the day or they'll use it for academic support throughout the day or brain breaks, right? Kids are sitting a long time yeah. and they need a reason to get up and move. Teacher picks up the uke and off we go. Okay. Yeah. So the idea here is for you to demonstrate how easy it is to teach someone who has not played. <laughs> and I really hope that I can prove your theory right. Yes. <laughs> 
So you, we, we don't have much time left. So you're, you're going to teach me a little something here? Yes, this okay. is this is so simple. <laughs> so you say. Well, I promise it okay. is. Okay, so just take this hand, take, take your this right hand. hand, and can you tap it on your knee? Yes. Okay, can we do that and count to four? Yes. Steady beat, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, keep going. Okay, so this is a fast strumming rhythm. We're going to slow it way down. We're going to go one, two, See how you're matching me right now? Yeah. Notice how you're 100% focused? You know what it's like when every kid in the classroom is as focused at the same time <laughs> as you are right now? Life gets easier. Okay, so we're gonna take that hand, okay. and instead of tapping the knee, you're gonna give yourself a thumbs up. Okay. All right, now, you're gonna curve your arm and touch the string that's closest to the top, and you're just gonna relax and just strum down the strings. How's that feel? That sounded beautiful. <laughs> it sounded really good, right? All right. So let's do it again. Okay. And good. Now we're going to do our four count. You okay. ready? Here we go. Yes. Take a breath. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Completely relax your shoulder and your arm. You're not doing anything wrong. I just want you to have more fun. <laughs> okay. This is good. Now, can you think of a song that you learned when you were a little kid? I'm not going to make you sing. Okay. So we're going to sing if you want to sing with me, or you can just strum with me either way. So we're just going to go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And you can rest and give yourself a big pat. Oh, you're so terrible. The producer's yelling at me, but okay, you all right, we'll play into the break. Okay. Maybe you should play something for us. Well, uh, this is good, right? Okay. Are we having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a great time. So let's sing Lauren Had a Little Lamb because okay. we're gonna talk about your all lamb. Right, all right. One, two, ready, let's go. Lauren. 